All right, today we're going to be tying the all-purpose nymph. We start with our French tinsel. We need a size 14 NW3 hook. Our tan thread. And our two feathers. We got our pheasant tail. And then our uh, partridge soft hackle. You can pause here if you need to get those. Come back once you're done. I'm going to pinch our barb again, secure our hook in the vise, and get ready to tie on. Once you're ready, let's get the thread secured to the hook. We've done this before. We're just going to wrap this down to about the point of the hook, and then we're going to clip this off. All right, from here, we're going to grab our soft hackle, our partridge hackle. And we're going to make our tail from this. So grab a nice, pretty one. We're going to pull these soft pieces of the feather off from the bottom so we can get at the pieces that we want to use for our tail. So once that's done, you can grab, oh, eight or ten pieces. Try to keep them the same length as you put them together so you've got the tips of it are like that. We're just going to lay that down to the top of the hook. About a hook gap length is how wide we want. So we put it down with our right hand and we pinch it and the hook together with our left hand and we secure it to the top of the hook. There we go. Tie it down. Clip off our the other end of the feather. Now we bring our French tinsel in. We only need about a three inch piece. This is probably going to be too much. You can use this for a couple of these nymphs. But this gives us good length to work with. Again, tie this to the top of the shank. And you want to use thread torque as we get this laid on here. You want to use thread torque to kind of bring it to the other side of the hook. There we go, like that. Now when you wrap it, then it doesn't really mess the tail up. Take some of your dubbing. If you pull it out of the bag just a little bit and kind of pinch it with the bag, it kind of gives a good dis, uh, way to distribute it. That's What are the two methods to tie off a fly? Half hitch, nail knot tool, pokey thing, or instrument of torture. Pause now until you decide together on an answer. The correct answer is half hitch and instrument of torture, also known as a whip finish tool. What I do, that's about what you need. We're going to make a pretty good noodle on this. So come in with your dubbing. Again, when we dub, we dub only one way. So you pinch hard and you wrap, I like to wrap to the left or uh, clockwise. We're going to make a nice even noodle here. Keep wrapping until you're satisfied with it. Again, you can add more wrapping if you need to or more dubbing as you wrap and you say, oh, I don't have enough or it doesn't look quite right. So you want it to start right at the base of the tail. And we're going to make a pretty good little fat body here as we move toward the thorax. You see I'm building it up here. And we can keep our thread right there. So that's about halfway down the hook. Take your tinsel now. We're going to wrap it kind of tight. Open spirals to where our thread is. And this will kind of make the body the right shape, the abdomen the right shape. So when we build the thorax it's going to be a little bigger. So tie your tinsel down. You see we've got a bunch left over here. So go ahead and clip it off, and then you can save that for the next fly. Now take your pheasant tail. We're going to take about eight barbules off of this and just kind of rip them off there, keep them all together, one length. We're going to lay this on the shank, top of the shank. We take the part that was next to the feather middle and we're going to put that towards the tail. So not the points, but the other end. We're going to lay that down. We're going to put a couple wraps in, and then we're going to 
kind of turn it to make sure it's nice and flat. We want that those barbules to lay flat on top of the shank. Wrap that back to where the uh, dubbing was and come in, then clip this off. Now we're going to put some more dubbing on the thread. Again, it's about the same size noodle, maybe a little bit less, but we do want to have the thorax of this fly to be bigger than the abdomen. So come in. This is going to take me a few seconds here to get a noodle that I'm satisfied with. You can see how I then come back in and pinch it and make sure it tries to lay as flat as possible. It's going to be buggy. There's going to be pieces sticking out, and that's okay. You don't need to have it. You don't want to have it actually nice and smooth. This is what rabbit dubbing looks like, and you get used to working with this. If you're a perfectionist, you might have a problem with it because stuff does stick out, but this is what makes a good fly. It makes it look nice and buggy. So we're going to wrap that starting right at the base of the pheasant tail. You can see how this is building up. You don't want to wrap too close to the eye like that. and Just back it up a little bit. Build it onto there. There we go. I'm going to make a nice little head to start with. Tie it down. Now we're going to take our pheasant tail. We're going to drop it over the top. Now you want to use your finger, your thumb to like hold it in place. So it's this is actually the wing case. So you want it to kind of spread across the top of the body. Make a couple wraps on there and then look at it. Move it around with your fingers, your thumb. You want to make sure it looks like that across the top. You don't want to have a nice thin one. You want to have a pretty good thick one. I pull these up to kind of tighten everything down. Once that's done, then I'll come in with my scissors. I'll trim these off. All right, pause here and talk about the question you decided on. Remember to be attentive as you listen and honest as you answer. Take your time and then continue when you're finished. That. I'll finish the head, wrap toward the wing case a little bit. Now we'll use our instrument of torture. You can use a half hitch here again if you want. I'll make three or four turns of this. That's it. Now we cut our thread. We're not quite done yet. Clean it up if you want. I'll try to. Now we're going to use our head cement. And we're going to place a drop on the wing case and on the thread. Just kind of work it around in there. That secures those materials a little better. Now I'm going to flip mine upside down and use my bodkin to pick out the bottom, but you don't have to. You can use the uh, you can use the fly the way it is right now. If your vise doesn't turn. I'm just going to pick the bottom of this fly out to make it look like it has legs. Like that. Rotate it over. I'll clean this up a little bit. But there we have the all-purpose nymph.